The Indianapolis Colts captured an ugly 12-9 win against the Denver Broncos on Thursday night football to begin Week 5 in the NFL, but for Colts owner Jim Ursay, the victory was hardly unattractive. Simply put, Ursay says ugly wins don't exist. There is no such thing as an ugly win, Ursay told Wish TV after the game. There is no such thing as a beautiful loss. To me, I know it was tough, but this win looks like a beauty to me. We're fired up and excited man. There is no such thing as an ugly win. This thing looks like a beauty to me. Ursay sends love to Colts kicker Chase McLaughlin. His interview with Wish TV was brief, but Ursay took the time to call out just one player, and it was the only player who scored for the Colts in the 12-9 victory, kicker Chase McLaughlin. I told Chase, he's got that Navy SEAL beard, and he was a Navy SEAL today with those kicks, said Ursay. McLaughlin made all four of his field goal attempts, including a try in the final seconds of regulation and an attempt midway through overtime. Three of McLaughlin's tries were from longer than 47 yards. Even at altitude in Denver, McLaughlin had an impressive night. His first two field goals were from 52 and 51 yards away and tied the game at six in the third quarter. In four games with the Colts this season, McLaughlin has connected on seven of his eight field goal attempts. His only miss came from 51 yards away, but McLaughlin has also made three field goals from 50-plus. His three made field goals from 50 yards or longer or more than what Rodrigo Blankenship did from that distance in his 22 games with the Colts. Blankenship was one for four on attempts from at least 50 yards from 2020 to 22. McLaughlin didn't have any extra point attempts in week five, but he has also made all four of his extra points this season. Colts searching for consistent Ursay can deny ugly wins exist, but there was plenty of ugliness during the Colts' victory against the Broncos, especially on offense. The Indianapolis owner identified some of the issues in his interview with Wish TV. We have to get some consistency. Two division games coming, we know we have to play better, Ursay said. Offensively, we have to do things a lot better and pick it up. To improve, where we want to go, we have to. But this was one of those ones that you had to get. The Colts improved to 2-2-1 with the win on October 6, but over the next two weeks, they will face the two teams that have already beaten them this season, including the Tennessee Titans on the road. Up first, though, will be the Jacksonville Jaguars, who defeated the Colts 24-0 in Week 2. Some positive bright spots emerged for Indianapolis in the Week 5 win. Backup running backs Deion Jackson and Phillip Lindsay found enough room to combine for 102 rushing yards. Furthermore, rookie wide receiver Alec Pierce posted career highs of 8 catches and 81 yards. Over the last three games since returning from a concussion, Pierce has recorded at least 61 receiving yards per game. Despite zero catches in the first two weeks, he is on pace for 755 receiving yards this season. But the Colts' offensive line continues to be a mess, particularly in pass protection. Quarterback Matt Ryan has taken 22 sacks this season, including six in Week 5. The offensive line will likely have to be better in order for the Colts to avenge their losses to the Jaguars and Titans the next two weeks.